Hello everyone, this is Tom Morley with another video tutorial series and this series will be on compositing with FOSS applications. We're going to take a look at the Natron application, Natron 2.0. This piece of software will run on multiple operating systems as you see here. Let's um, make sure that we go to the website www.natron.fr. The link will be in the descriptions below. Let's go to the download section and I will be showing you how to install this application on Linux. I'm using Linux Mint 17.3 and I have a 64-bit operating system so I'm going to download the 64-bit file. I'll click OK. We'll wait for that to download. Okay, the file is finished downloading, so let's open up the file location, which is my downloads folder. Let's open up a, another um, pane here, an extra pane, and let's go to my home directory on that pane. So let's um, just move this of, uh, Natron downloaded file into my home directory. Let's extract that. Now that it's extracted, we have the installation application. We um, only need to double click on that. Once we double click on it, we get a really nice installation application. Click Next. I'm going to put it in the default location for my home folder. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to leave everything to the default settings because I want it to install all the plugins and extras. Click Next. Um, make sure you read the license and accept it. Click Next. And then click Install. And after a few minutes, Natron 2.0 will be installed and ready for use on your operating system. So we're going to leave this clicked and we'll open Natron and make sure that it actually will um, run without any issues. So you see that the Natron application popped up. We have the default user interface that's set up of three main sections. You have a viewer section, which is in the upper left here. The lower left is your node graph, which um, is where we'll basically set up our node trees and we also have the properties section over here on the right hand side of the screen so if we um, want to just do a quick test and make sure that the application is up and running and we can actually view a picture let's um, go ahead and open my uh, file browser here again and one way to um, I guess insert pictures into the Natron application is just to um, do a drag and drop. So I'm going to look for a picture that I can drag and drop and I'm just going to drag and drop it onto the node graph. And as soon as I do that you see that it automatically pops up in my viewer section of the user interface. And down here you see I have a viewer node. This box here is called a node and I have a read node and it automatically set up a connection between my read node and my viewer so that I can see it in the viewer section of the GUI. So we know that the Natron application is up and running and everything appears to be okay. In the next video we'll talk a little bit about the node graph area and what nodes do and what this line is that uh, connects the read node to the viewer node. We'll talk about process flow in the next video. So we'll see you in the next one.